going to talk a little bit now about headlines. The headline is the most important thing in an ad. And I'm going to tell you a couple more things to drive that point home in just a minute. But first realize that the headline must, attract, must catch attention. That's the main goal of the headline. The headline has to catch attention. It works best if it gives a great benefit as well as attracting attention. So those are the two kind of main things that you want to do. And if possible, this is a big thing too that I see from a lot of the things that I look at. You want to use open-ended questions and avoid questions with yes or no answers. So instead of asking just a question like dirty carpet with a question mark, that's a closed question. You're not opening up a conversation there. But what you want to do with an open-ended question is start to open up a conversation in the reader's mind. That way you're introducing your ad and you can start to actually sell it. So let me ask you this. If you were to see this headline, picture that this is an ad presentation. You're thumbing through ICS Magazine and you see this headline. Would you like professional help with your advertising business? Think about that for a second. <laughs> would, it, you know, would you like professional help with your advertising business? You're, you've got one of two answers. <coughs> No, or yes. There's no other, those are the only two ways that you can go with this. So you're really inclined while you're thumbing through a magazine, are you really wanting to look at ads that much? Well, not really. So a lot of the response that a lot of you're gonna give is no, and you're gonna turn the page, okay? But let's suppose you had yes in your mind, because you did need professional help with your advertising. You go, yes, but, and you're already giving reasons in your own mind to fill in the rest of that story for reasons why that's not true, just by looking at the headline. And this happens in a split second. And your conversation is closed and you're not as open to the ad. You still might read the ad, but it's not as open. So let me show you how you can write an open-ended question to make it so much more powerful. What would it mean to your business if you had professional help with your advertising? You see that? Right now, you're thinking of things that this can mean to your business if you had professional help with your advertising. The conversation is now open, and it's gonna be harder for you to put that ad down and not read the rest of it. You know why? Because there's a benefit here of, it means something to your business to have professional advertising, doesn't it? It's called the Zergardic effect. Whenever you watch a television show, they do this on TV all the time. You watch episode one, the next week there's a cliffhanger and you've gotta watch the next one. Well, this is what we're kinda of creating here at this headline. We're creating a cliffhanger, and it's with an open-ended question. So let's take an example from the carpet cleaning industry. Now, this is something that you might have as far as a headline to maybe one of your clients in a postcard or a sales letter or any one of your ads. This is a closed question. It has a yes or no answer. Do you have dirty carpet affecting your home? Eh, decent headline, you know. But again, they're gonna say, no, I don't. Because how many of your customers, you know, really, or prospects really don't even think about dirty carpet or, you know, a lot of you think, well, my carpet's not that dirty. I'm not really that concerned about it. But even if they say yes, they go, well, yes, but it's not affecting my home that much. It's not that big of a deal. Okay? Here's how we can make that and improve that 10 times. How is dirty carpet affecting your home? You see that? How much more powerful that is? And again, it's an open-ended question. It's not a matter of yes or no. Do you want to answer this question? It's a matter of dirty carpet's affecting your home. That's a given. What, do you want to find out how it is? If you do, read the rest of this ad. That's what you're saying in, in that just few words, in a nutshell, by using an open-ended question. 